Majong Buntag sa Tanan. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Good morning, everybody. This is Lewis, and I'm here with Nora. Hi. Good morning, everyone. And Woody. And he's busy investigating. And we have this new bed that we put in. I dug this up, and then I put a layer of dry leaves, and then I put a layer of compost, and then a layer of soil, and then a layer of cardboard. Because we understand that the cardboard will help attract earthworms. And we had a good rain all night last night. And uh, Nora came out here to check it out. She planted a few of these seedlings, these bell pepper seedlings. And while taking a look under the cardboard, we're seeing something I've never seen in my entire life. I've done gardening with my dad when I was young and now whenever we find earthworms if we're digging up and we find we always put them in the compost or in some of these bags with the plants we'll put them in the bags but we've and AJ at AJ's Green Topics he might know this because I know he has bins and raises red wigglers and stuff but go ahead hun we saw a line you see this line here Apparently, these are it's a lot. baby earthworms. I have never seen a baby earthworm in my life. So now, apparently, the cardboard thing works better than I even knew that it did. Because apparently they're breeding like crazy. Oops. Hold on. Having babies. And why it's like group in one line? There, I gotta put it in the palm of my hand so they can see better on the camera. Alright. Now, hopefully, this isn't gonna get all blurry and out of focus. Let's see. Maybe if I go slowly. Yep. Pretty cool. So, I'm just amazed. Sorry, folks, I'm a little speechless because uh, I've never seen. <laughs> whoops, sorry for the shaking. I've never seen baby earthworms before. I just think it's pretty neat. You know, gardening and here is clear. Being okay and being able to raise your own food to eat and just enjoying taking part in God's creation is pretty amazing anyway on a daily basis. But then uh, you know I'm 50 years old. I've never seen a baby earthworm. This is a lot. So here, hon, can you help me put them back? There's one on you. Oh, there's one on you, and one still sticking to me. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's free. You must be together. <laughs> Keep each other company. Yeah. <laughs> so my friend AJ over at AJ's Green Topics. I'm sure he's probably pretty familiar with this, but I've never tried, I mean, not that I'm trying to raise worms, but I've never tried that before. Excuse me. Uh, and this is pretty amazing. So, Lord willing, they're going to stay here. This is going to be their new home, and they're going to make lots of worm poo-poo and fertilize our bed really nice. They do a good job in the compost, that's for sure. We had this cardboard laying around, so I said, ah, come on, let's try this and see what happens. And uh, this is pretty cool. So just thought you guys might like to see that. And if you have any experience with this, please comment down below if you have advice to offer, because uh, even though Nora has grown up out in the mountains doing a lot of like growing and harvesting and things here in the Philippines, and I grew up doing a lot of gardening with my dad, but my, my dad never t tried to raise worms or anything. We just, I've always followed what he did. If we found them, we put them in the compost, or if we found them, we put them in the garden. But 
Uh, never did any, made any attempts at raising them. I'll have to start studying some of AJ's videos about his red wigglers and whatnot more closely. Maybe we can start raising worms here. I mean, uh, that would be a great thing. Okay, so that's it for the new bell pepper patch. Got some much needed rain last night. An update for our bell pepper. Yep. The one that Which one? Oh, here? Okay, these the big two. The one uh -huh. there's a fruit already. I see this one here right in the back, right? After I prone this, this one. Yep. And there's a look. Uh huh, I see. And when did you prune it, hon? A couple weeks ago? No, the, um, last month. Last month. And then this one. We have native bell peppers and uh, bell peppers from seeds from, uh, I'll call it an American bell pepper. <laughs> bell peppers, rather. Green and red and yellow, right? I yeah. think we didn't have orange, is that correct? I think that's. Well, we'll I'm see. Sure. We'll, <laughs> we'll see when they start bearing fruit. Okay, everybody, so, Woody boy, come say goodbye. Say goodbye, what a good boy. Come here, Woody boy. So, from Woody boy in Metalum Leite, say goodbye. Say goodbye. That's it for this gardening update. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye. Say bye, Woody. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, Woody boy.